Hi guys, good evening. I hope you had a beautiful 4th of July weekend. I know things are a little different for everybody concerning the time that we're in, but I hope um, you made an adjustment and things were still amazing for you. Um, tonight's message is called Run Away Train. Um, God was speaking to me heavily about, you know, what happens when you're on God's time, when you're doing things according to God's will. And then what happens when you jump ahead of God um, and you try to do things your own way in your own time? Um, and he said, you're a runaway train. You're a train that's off schedule and off track. And I said, oh, okay, God, I, I, speak, speak to me a little bit more about this. I think I see where you're going. And he said, um, an on-time train is a great thing. You're going to leave at the right time. You're going to get to where you're going at the right time. Um, you're going to make all your connections. You're going to stop at the right stops. You're going to make all the right transfers. And things are going to be pretty, you know, they're going to be pretty good for you. Now, um, when you are an on time and you're on God's timing, um, imagine this train as God's will and God's timing. Everything is going to go great. Um, you're going to meet the right connections at the right time. You're going to meet the right people at the right time. You're going to meet the right opportunities at the right time. You're going to receive God's favor and God's blessings at the right time. Um, when you're on God's timing, even the delays are for your good. Um, if there's a layover, if there's a departure and you're on God's time, trust me when I say it's God's will. Um, let me give you an example of that. Um, I was taking a trip to Maine last um, last year to see my mom. I was with my sister. And we're driving and we pull over to a rest stop. Um, and God said, check your phone, check your emails. And I'm like, God, ain't nobody got time for that. We, we got a three hour drive ahead of us. He said, no, I want you to check your emails. So I'm checking my emails. And I get this amazing, important news and I'm sharing with my sister and I'm celebrating and we're both, you know, so caught up. We end up sitting in that spot probably for a good five or ten minutes. Now, in the meantime, I get a knock at my window. I'm startled. I look to my left. There's a man at my window. He says, Miss, Miss, roll down your window. I'm a little scared. So I just kind of crack it a little. He said, you're tired. You're tired. There's something wrong with your tire. There's a bubble in it. And I was like, oh my goodness. He said, yeah, be careful. That can explode. I was like, oh my goodness. I did not know. Now imagine, had I not heard the voice of God that said, you're at the rest shop. Take a break. Check your email, relax. Had I just said, God, ain't nobody got time for that. Imagine the devastation that could have occurred. I mean, seriously, we would have been driving down the highway, my tire would have blown because it was a giant bubble. Um, thank God that God's timing is perfect because literally um, we were half an exit away from a rest stop where we were able to stop, get some help, get some advice on the tire, and fix things before we finish the rest of our journey. So when you're on God's time, even the delays are for your good. Now, um, imagine an off schedule train, right? It's pretty hectic. It's pretty chaotic. You're, you're nervous, you're anxious, you're worried. Everything's a mess. You're missing your connections. You're missing your transfers. You're missing your stop. You're late for whatever comes next. It's really not, um, it's really not pleasant. This is what happens when we are not on God's time, when we are on our own time. We are going to miss our appointed connections, our appointed blessings, our appointed opportunities, our appointed favors, because instead of being on God's time, we decided to be on our own time. Therefore, we become like trains that are off schedule. Even worse, sometimes we become like runaway trains or trains off the track. 
Now think about that. A runaway train or train off the track, it can be very dangerous. Uh, it's definitely, uh, it can cause devastation. It can cause harm. Matter of fact, it will cause harm. If you're on a runaway train, you're guaranteed to get hurt and so are the people around you. This is what happens sometimes when we decide to do things our way instead of God's way. Um, it can become very dangerous. So when you're a runaway train or when you're off schedule, off the tracks, it's just really harmful and you're really bound to miss the things that God has in store for you. Now, some of us are runaway trains, literally. Some of us are trains who are off the track. We are ahead of God. God tells us what our calling is. He tells us what our purpose is. He gives us a vision. He gives us a dream. He gives us a plan. And then we're like, okay, God, thank you. Now I'm gonna take it over from here. I'm gonna become my own conductor. I'm gonna drive this train. That's why your train is crashing, guys. Because God gave us the vision, God gave us the plan, and we didn't have patience enough to wait and ask God and to see what God was going to do. We decided, okay, thank, thanks, thanks for the vision, God. Thanks for the dream, God. Thanks for the message, God. I'm going to take it over from here, right? But in Hebrews 12 and 2, I'm going to read this. It says that God is the author and the finisher of our fate. And in Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. He will direct their path. Nowhere did it say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean unto your own understanding and then take over and become the pilot. Take over and drive the bus take over and become the conductor. It says, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct our paths. We have to focus more on the letting God direct our paths, okay? Um, we have to really stop trying to take control of our lives. When the train is on schedule, guys, it has a set time to leave and it has a set time to arrive so do our blessings so do our callings so do our favors so do our opportunities god has already written in the heavens when we're going to start and when we're going to finish we just have to stop being so eager to be in control one of the things um, one of the sayings that i just don't get and it really drives me nuts jesus is my co-pilot that's why you always crashing into the side of mountains because Jesus is your co-pilot. Let me tell you something. God is my pilot. He is my leader. He is in charge. He is my guide. And I will move when God says move. I will move how God says move. He doesn't need your help. Trust me. God does not need my help to bless me. Okay. He doesn't. God is, he's the alpha and the omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the author and the finisher of our fate. Nowhere did he say you are included in that. He didn't say, and I need your help. He said, I need your obedience. He said, those who have ears to hear, hear. And that's what we're missing out on, guys. Um, in Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, it says, there is a time for everything and a season for every action under the heavens. And in Isaiah 55, eight and nine, it says, for my thoughts are higher than your thoughts and my ways are higher than your ways. Guys, we gotta take our hands off the wheel. We gotta put it back in the hands of God. We gotta stop being runaway trains, off the track trains, off the schedule trains, we're causing our own delays. Now, here's one of the beautiful things. Um, even when our train is delayed, right? Most of the time, we're gonna get there. We're just gonna get there much sooner, I mean, much later than we were supposed to, right? 
we got to stop delaying our own trains. God put you on train A and halfway through, you're like, nah, God, I'm going to jump on train B. And now your whole schedule is messed up. You missed that man that was going to bless you. You missed that woman that was going to bless you. You missed that opportunity that was going to bless you. You missed all of your favor because you thought you knew you knew better than God. God had you on train A and it was a direct route. You wanted to get off and get on, on train B and now you got five stops, 16 layovers and 21 rerouting. You know, it's, it's just not, it's not good. It's not fun. It doesn't feel great when we are in, um, out of order, in control, right? It says, wait on the Lord and be of good cheer. Wait on the Lord. So today I'm encouraging us um, to stop get ahead, getting ahead of God, right? Stop missing our appointed connections. Stop missing our appointed in blessings. God has it all under control, guys. He doesn't need my help. He doesn't need your help. It was already written in the heavens. It was already set. It had a set time to start. It had a set time to finish. It had a set time where it was going to leave. And it had a set time in which you were going to arrive and make it. God knows when you're arriving. God knows when he set you up to succeed. We got to start trusting in God more, guys. So that's my message for tonight. I really hope it blessed somebody. And um, I, I really hope that you can take the time to take your time and give it to God in Jesus' name. Amen.